Beltane morning burning. Put it down to a May squall, the new air of new life, what is earned after years of winter. These days you place your faith in acts and matches. Arcadia might be both sides of the grass, but only if you pour your way and bring the right fuel, gather all those histories in paper to cast upon the flames. For years they have clung to basement dust, blighting the air with their tendrils of trauma. The stalkers, the abusers, the ones who earned their own files. Today, in the back garden, glinting in a sea of dandelions. You feed bright the flames with the pages of your past, watching as they curl to ash. A Beltane morning burning. Send it off to the four great winds to be transmuted by the spirit of fire to cleanse the present of the past. So there will be only we two and the sun above the cove, and all the colour, and all the light. And each day, a new day, like this one, now. So, so let, let it, it burn. burn. Let's talk about it. It was May 1st, 2023, um, here in this garden when this poem was born. That's right. There were a bunch of boxes mm. in the basement of the house, yeah. and they one box in particular, a box yeah. of horrors. Box of it horrors. was quite sizable and had been, I think, dragged from country to country and moved to move for years without being opened. And I opened it in the basement and saw the contents and realized what it held. And it was time it to burn. So Tara sat out here on the uh, the wood-fired barbecue and just fed the flames with all of these recordings of kind of horrors of her past. Police statements and, and legal papers and things from 20, 30 years ago. Just I couldn't believe that that we still had them, that I still had them in my possession. They were from before I even met Ben. And finding this literal box of horrors. My 20s were not easy. They were really tough. And it was all there in this box. I think it lasted about seven minutes before I was like, I need to get some matches. Yeah, so she started burning them. And I was watching this from the back of the house. And of course, it became a poem. And she came back in. And I was already working on this poem when she came in. And I said, that made a comment about how she was burning things away. And she said, no, I'm transmuting them by the spirit of fire. And I was like, that's the line. So we were already writing the poem together before she even realized it was a poem. That's right. Mm. And that's what I knew was happening. And it was Beltane when I found, mm. you know, a, a, an important seasonal time and a time for fire. Mm. And so, um, the energy was there. It was that moment. There was no coincidence in my finding this box of horrors on May 1st. And it's been great because we don't collaborate a lot on work. Mm. Yeah. But on this, the collaboration started from the very beginning. Like it was already a, a mutual process. And so we just bounced it back and forth uh, together and yeah. had a great pleasure. Um, putting it together so so thank you to the yeah. red room for igniting the possibility of this collaboration we've been married for over 13 years and we've done quite a bit of work together in one way or another but but our writing together we haven't done a poem yeah. and um that was really special and we hope that you enjoyed it and could feel some of the catharsis of that uh, Beltane morning burning. Mm. So gather those things, put fire to them, those things from your past that you have to let go, and then That's write right. a poem about it. That's right. What would you put the match to? That's my question for you. 